In this video, we show a demonstration of our method on two different exoskeletons. In these experiments, the human was periodically moving an object of unknown mass from one position to another. The task of the exoskeleton was to offload the effort of the human by minimizing the muscular effort. In the first scenario, we examined a situation where an able-bodied subject is using an elbow exoskeleton. At the beginning of the first stage, the subject himself had to perform the desired motion. The upper graph shows the muscle activity signal, while the lower graphics show the actual and reference motion given to the subject. Green color represents the reference states and red color represents the actual states. The bars on the right hand side show the frequency with respect to the reference. In the second and third stage, the subject was instructed to extend the motion of the hand, first downwards and then upwards, to meet the new reference motion. In addition, each stage had a different target frequency. In the concluding scenario, we applied our approach on a whole arm exoskeleton. We demonstrated that our method can be successfully employed for exoskeletons with multiple degrees of freedom. The experiment was again divided into three stages. Each stage had a different reference of the hand motion. The subject was instructed to keep a constant frequency throughout the experiment. The upper left graph shows the muscle activity feedback signal related to the shoulder joint, while the upper right graph shows the same for the elbow joint. To begin with, the subject initiated the desired motion by activating the appropriate muscles. The exoskeleton quickly adapted to the motion and minimized the subject's muscle activity. The subject then extended the motion, first downwards and then upwards. The exoskeleton successfully adapted to the changes and moved without any effort from the subject.